our channel Life Addictions. Today I am going to review Sunscoop Invisible Sunscreen. It has got SPF of 40 and PA triple plus. SPF 40 protects your skin against UVB rays and PA triple plus protects the skin against UVA rays. So it is a broad spectrum sunscreen. Its MRP is 675 for 45 gram of product. But you can always get some discount on the MRP. Before starting this review, I am going to give you some idea of my skin type. My skin type is very oily and it is extremely acne prone. We will put this sunscreen to several tests, so keep watching this video. The packaging says it is a broad spectrum sunscreen. It protects the skin against blue light. It leaves no white cast. It is non-comedogenic. It is sweat and water resistant. It is for all skin types. It is some nasty chemicals free, such as free of alcohol, fragrance and formaldehyde. You can check its full ingredients list on the screen right now. It is a silicone based gel sunscreen. You can find silicone in the first few ingredients list. These are the sunscreen agents it has in its ingredients list. This sunscreen is a combination of physical and chemical based sunscreen agents. Its ingredients list has got some comedogenic oils in it. But the packaging says it is non-comedogenic. Whether a product is comedogenic or not depends on the total formulation and not on any single ingredient. The packaging says it is cruelty free and made in India. Once we open the tube, the shelf life of this product is 6 months. As the sunscreen claims that it is water and sweat resistant, I am doing a water spray test here. The water droplets were sitting on my skin and it wasn't melting off the sunscreen. Now I am going to do foundation test on the other side of my face. For this I am going to use my Estee Lauder foundation. As the top ingredients of this sunscreen are silicones, it gave me a very smooth and flawless finish. This is how my face is looking without any filters. I removed the sunscreen and applied it again for doing the other test on it. The packaging instructs to follow the two finger rule while applying this foundation. Squeeze out about two fingers of the product. Apply it all over your face, neck, ears and exposed area around the face. Reapply every two hours. I tried brushing on some compact powder on it but it was peeling very badly. It was peeling even when I used a puff for applying the compact. I did a peeling test of this sunscreen on two types of moisturizers. First I used a cream based moisturizer on my hand. I waited for a minute and then applied the sunscreen on it. Though one should pat this sunscreen more than rubbing it on the skin, for this peeling test I was rubbing the sunscreen more than necessary on my hand but it wasn't peeling at all. I tried this sunscreen on a gel based moisturizer as well but it wasn't peeling. Though it might work for people with dry skin, my skin doesn't absorb it well, I don't like the feeling of it on my skin. After applying it, when I touch my skin even after half an hour, I feel there is a thin slimy layer on my skin. La Shield silicone based gel sunscreen is one of my favorite sunscreens to use and it feels much nicer than this. The smell of this sunscreen is not very pleasant but it is not that strong so I don't mind since it is a fragrance free product. As we all know, fragrance is not good for our skin. I didn't get any rashes or acne from this sunscreen, but it feels like a layer sitting on my skin. Hope you enjoyed this honest review. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and also hit the bell icon. Stay happy and keep glowing always. Bye-bye.